If this is your first time swapping armrest covers, then this is gonna be a free upgrade, but for me, I've already done it once years ago. You can see how both sides are worn out. So I am gonna to have to hit the salvage yard. 05 Toyota Highlander that has just about 300,000 miles and I need some parts for the interior. See the sun visor doesn't stay up anymore and the armrests are worn out. So there's an 02 Silver Highlander that landed at one of the salvage yards near me and I'm gonna hit it up, try to get some parts. I did get two armrests also, but I was not able to film that because my phone shut off, it overheated. What you're looking at now is the top sides of both of those armrests, driver side, passenger side, you can see how the leather is cracked. But what I'm gonna do when I install them is switch them up so that we see the underside, see how much better that looks. Third brake light, I don't know if that's gonna be part of this video, that might be a separate video, but we'll see. Now, when I said earlier that I was gonna switch these around so that we see the good sides, it's not as simple as taking the passenger side and flipping it over and installing that on the driver's side and doing the same thing for the driver, switch it over and install it on a passenger side. You can do that, but what's gonna happen is when you put the armrest down, they're not gonna stop at about a 90 degree angle like they should because on the back side, there's a groove cut into the metal and on the seat, there is a button or a little metal protrusion that fits into that groove. So that groove in the metal has to be on top when you install the armrest on the seats. So all that means is that in order to get the good side facing up, we're gonna take the cover off the passenger side armrest, flip it over and install it on the driver's armrest. And then the same thing vice versa. The driver's armrest cover goes on the passenger side armrest that's the only way it can work and have it work properly, have that armrest stop at a 90 degree angle. The trade-off is that when we take the cover off and flip it over, we're gonna see more of the seam that has the zipper. You can see how it's shorter here. What we're gonna be seeing are these sides. We want that groove on top and we also want the good side of the cover on top. So it goes in this way. And this will be on the passenger side. And this will be the armrest for the driver's door. So now, instead of seeing this, we're gonna see this. I need to find the zipper, peel it back so we can get to the 14 millimeter bolt that holds the armrest on. You need either a deep set socket or a short extension to get to that bolt because it's in there kind of deep. There's a plastic washer on the back side and that plastic washer can fall down in between the seat and the center console. This is what can fall off. Now on the inside, there should be two metal washers, if I remember correctly. And yes, there are. And then here's the pin that I was talking about, that metal pin that fits into the groove. And that pin being in that groove is what stops your armrest right here. So peel back the cover, put the bolt through the hole. Make sure you have the plastic washer on the back side with the flat side of the washer facing the seat. Because we have these on the wrong side, see how this leather cover is blocking that groove where that pin needs to fit into? So you may have to fold that cover out of the way so that the pin can fit into that slot. See how it's stopping? That means the pin is in that slot. If it wasn't, this arm would fall all the way down. So I just need to tighten that up. Because I have the same problem on this side, the armrest that's going on the driver's side, you can see that leather is blocking the channel where that pin has to go into. So I'm gonna take an X-Acto knife, a razor knife, and I'm gonna cut the leather away so that that channel is fully exposed. That's gonna make it much easier to install. Fold it back so we can get to the bolt. Again, it's 14 millimeter, and again, you'll need an extension or a deep socket. Watch out for the plastic washer on the inside. Don't lose that. And there it is. Put that plastic washer on. 
think I'm in the groove. Maybe it's got to be a little bit tighter. Let's see. That's as tight as it'll go. All right, why are we so loose? Let's see what's going on with this one. Let's get it back off. I think I found the problem. This washer, which I hope you can see is not perfectly flat, this had fallen out on the floor. So that needs to go on because something wasn't right because even with the bolt as tight as it would go, the arm wasn't on tight. And I can tell already that it is. So watch out for that washer that's not perfectly flat. There's a little bit of a curve to it. And as careful as I was, it had slipped out and fallen in between the seat and the center console. And there we go. And we are good. Now let's get to the sun visor. There are two Phillips head screws underneath this cover. And I'm getting the heat warning on my phone, so hopefully it won't shut off. Hopefully I'll make it through. And that should pop out. Let me pull it loose on the... Oh, there it goes. And actually, this came out of a Limited, which has a light on the sun visor. Mine does not, so I don't need that wire. This sun visor came off an 02. Mine's an 05. But they're both first generation, so hopefully this will fit. Before I put that cover on, let's make sure... It fits and that it stays up and yes it does so that is awesome now the cover goes back on to hide the screws and that's it the visors done so a visor from an O2 limited will fit an O5 base model so if you have a first generation Highlander which ran from O1 to O7 this should apply to you you should be able to take your armrest covers off and swap them around and it should work out all right it should work out just like this and you also saw how to replace the sun visor and saw that one out of an O2 Limited will fit an O5 base model. So if that's true, they're probably all interchangeable between those years, O1 to O7. And last thing, even though I showed you this on an O5 Toyota Highlander, it should apply to any make, model, and year of car that has removable armrest covers because the armrests themselves are gonna match, the covers are gonna match. There's no reason why you shouldn't be able to swap one to the other. That's it, hope this helps. Thanks for watching.